Virgo, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so... What we see here is that there are opportun there's an opportunity in your life. There's something that's showing up for you. However, we feel like you're viewing this opportunity almost as um, there could be some uncertainty with how to evolve within it, right? So if it's a business, how to uh, attract more customers, clients, uh, generate more income, that kind of a thing. Um, you could be focusing on say it was a business, you could be focusing on how there's a lack of clients, a lack of uh, income coming in, right? So the Four of Cups represents looking at the situation through a lens of lack. Remember, you... I'm going to explain something to you, okay? Uh, and or, or we're, I'm going to, uh, we're going to explain something to you. It's not just me. It's, it's the whole team here. And so uh, when we incarnate into this lifetime, there's two components of us. There's your higher self, right? Which I'm a big proponent of connecting to. I spoke about it last read. And then there is your earth self. And so when we are worried and overthinking and stressing and, 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 and fearing the worst and focusing on the things that are not working out, we are basically asking our earth self to take over the responsibility of our higher self. That's why it feels so bad. That's why it doesn't feel good. It's overwhelming. We get headaches and we're tired all the time, right? Just endlessly tired. It feels exhausting. It feels like an endless pit of just nothing, right? I know I was just practicing it for a little while there. I'm back, baby. And it's because I connected to my higher self. So the thing is, is we got to look a little bit higher. We got to look further. We got to look deeper. We got to look more, right? So what needs to happen is this, as universe is saying, first and foremost, you're taking on too many responsibilities in, in, in your life, whether it's trying to please others, take on other people's duties, but either way, there's a need to have to let go of the heavy burdens and just release anything that is, that you're taking on that is extra. It could even be taking on extra in like, it has nothing to do with other people, but just in your own life, taking on extra, feeling like you have to do this in order to be okay. You have to do this. Anything that comes from a place of need, 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 extra, extra, extra. I need to have all of this stuff okay in order for me to be okay, right? That is the, the, that is the physical mind, okay? Again, taking over the responsibility of the higher mind. Here's the only responsibility you have to do in order to attract more wealth. So I'm going to turn my heater a little bit. It's getting a little chilly. In order to attract wealth and in order to attract in abundant, the abundant outcomes that you desire, right? It's about having that balance with the relationship between your higher self and your earth self, right? Your responsibility of your physical self, hello us, right? Is to be very much present in your highest possible passion or joy in the present moment. So, um, you know, for instance, um, Right now, my highest possible joy is to make sure that I am not rushing when I speak, right? I am feeling a lot of energy all the time just flowing through me. I've got a whole bunch of different guides that are always working around me. And so it's almost like they're yelling in my head and I'm trying to say it out loud, but they're not actually yelling. I'm just picture feeling a lot of energy around me, right? So my highest passion is in this moment to just be present, take a breath and be able to provide the message that they are sharing. So that's all I'm thinking about right now. I'm not thinking about, you know, what I got to do later or about, is it working? Is this, is, am I saying the right message? I'm not worried about all of that because I understand that my only obligation now as a soul, as a physical, as a soul in this physical reality, right, is to just follow my, is just to be present and to just to follow what I'm being asked to do in this present moment. And I know I'm being asked to do this because of how good it feels, right? So you just gotta be present. We can see here right now that again, there's a lot of rushing, there's a lot of busyness, there's a lot of trying to make it to the top. 
Trust me, I just came from this. And it was because I wasn't connected to my higher self. It was because I was practicing wobble. I was practicing, uh, I was not being a deliberate focuser. I wasn't a good enough focuser. Let's put it like that. I was focusing on all the things that could be going right. And, and, and what if it turns out like this and is it going to happen? And I was in my, I was, I was not playing the game right. I wasn't playing the game right. And I needed to go through this time because, 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 because I needed to have confidence in my message of connection to the higher self, which I was confident about when I was practicing it a few years when I first started YouTube. And then my husband and I went traveling intentionally brought on by the universe so that I could find myself at what I would say rock bottom. I would find myself at that seven of swords energy of almost like feeling this betrayal energy, this, this, this deceitful energy, something isn't right. And I was feeling that I was feeling something isn't right. Something's wrong, right? I would feel that all the time. Something is wrong. And if you feel like something's wrong and you're blaming somebody or your, or money or something, it's not that at all. You feel like something's wrong inside of you because you're not connected to your higher self. That's it. And when we feel like something's wrong, we blame our physical world. Trust me. I just came from it. And so we say, I need to leave my relationships. I need to change my career. I need to lose this weight. I, I, I'm, I need to go to the dentist. Who knows? Whatever's coming up but it's never the truth the truth is is that there needs to be a more significant connection to your higher self and that's going to come from being a deliberate focuser okay having a having a practice where you spend time with yourself in a state of deliberate focus gratitude positive intentions learning something about how the law of attraction, how law of attraction works, how our higher self, soul self works. You could listen to like say Abraham Hicks or Bashar. These are my two, my two go-tos right now, but I'm, that will expand. Um, Dr. Wayne Dyer was one of them. The, one of my favorites, uh, Sonia Choquette. There's so many amazing beings that are, that are, um, sharing this message. And so it's just about who you connect with and taking some notes and and reminding yourself of the truth daily so you don't get lost in this matrix programming. Because if you're not connected to your soul self, your higher self, Virgo, what will happen is you'll be connected to your human programming. That's going to, you're going to feel a lot like your parents. You're going to feel a lot like how your parents would be in this world. Um, and um, it, um, it's only going to get you so far you know? And so when you intentionally connect back to your true self and you become this whole part, per, this whole version of yourself, this whole partner, right? Is oh, the not partner, but this wholeness, you start living life the way you want to. And when you start living life the way you want to, because you know what you want, that's going to be when abundance, clarity, and opportunities come forward with that King of Pentacles. But that magician in reverse is indicating that the the, the power we have to utilize the law of attraction is not being utilized. And that's a wonderful thing because when we start utilizing the law of attraction, oh my goodness gracious, you better believe that things start showing up for us. Look at me, I'm back in my true form, right? Back in how I express myself here in this avatar, right? Here on planet earth, right? This is my truest avatar and this is how I would express myself. So when we don't feel like we want to take care of ourselves and, um, and, and, and represent ourselves in the way that we're inspired by, it's merely just because we are exhausted, because we are practicing or, or, or we are focused on trying to figure things out instead of just tuning into what brings us joy and passion, right? And that's really it. That's the bottom line of it. And when we come from traumatic experiences, like I was traveling for about a year, and even if I wasn't actually physically traveling, in my mind I was traveling because I always thought I was going to live overseas. So I was always, in my mind, always traveling. So I wasn't actually ever settled. And that constant change, it, it becomes quite rattling. But I needed to go through that so I hit what I would call my rock bottom so that I could practice what I was practicing to connect to my higher self to just confirm that it works. And it obviously works. I'm back. And it's only been a couple days. So it's incredible how fast it works just to have that journaling practice. Again, last read, I explained it all. So if you want, go check it out. But that's really it, you see. So... The important name of the game is to this, is that if you're influenced by friends or by peers, you got to break free from that influence, right? You got to really connect back to who, what you really know and what you truly, um, what you truly feel and trust in the process, right? Again, this is a simple physics universe, luckily. So basically think it, feel it, act it, change it. And that's it. It's as simple as that, right? So I learned the way on the way is your affirmation for the day. You don't have to... Again, 
know everything. The, the point of this life is to not know. It's actually way more exciting. So that's why one of my favorite affirmations is, um, I'm excited for the unexpected gifts the universe is bringing forward into my life, or I'm, ex I'm grateful for the unexpected surprises the un that's, that are showing up for me. Things, affirmations that are kind of more pointed in this direction, unexpected surprises, unexpected gifts, because it's unexpected. So if it's unexpected, you're not expecting it, right? And expectation, oh, it, 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 it's suffering, man. Expectation is suffering. I was expecting so much the last couple months because I was practicing expectation, you see? And if we practice it, we feel it, and it feels icky, right? It feels icky. So when we are just like, you know what? I let go, hire yourselves in charge, whatever brings me joy, I'm doing it. I'm not thinking about it. Forget all that. No, just if it makes me happy, I'm doing it, right? And when you start to live from that, from that in the moment, uh, you know, ideology and you practice it daily, life becomes so exciting, so fun, and so magical. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.